Yemen's Houthi movement says it's fired a wave of missiles and drones against Israel, now officially entering the war between Israel and Islamist militants in Gaza, and cementing fears by world powers of the conflict spilling into more countries. The declaration came after Israel's military said it intercepted two objects in separate incidents around the Red Sea. This was a Houthi parade filmed by Reuters in Yemen in September. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says Israel will not agree to a ceasefire with Hamas. Speaking earlier in Tel Aviv, he said that would represent a surrender to Hamas. He called the conflict a battle between civilization and barbarism. He added that even the most just wars have unintended civilian casualties. Netanyahu also said he hoped that civilized nations would back Israel's fight. French police shot and seriously injured a woman in a full veil after she threatened train passengers in Paris. Witnesses described scenes of panic at the Bibliothèque Francois Mitterrand station on the RERC as a woman shouted threats. Une dame qui était qui portait un voile intégral, euh, donc prof, tenait un certain nombre de propos qui étaient assez menaçants, euh, parlant de commission d'attentats. Utilisant un certain nombre de, de, de mots tels qu'ils m'ont été rapportés, comme euh, vous allez tous y passer, à la Wakbar, boum. Washington has imposed financial sanctions on Myanmar's state owned oil company in an effort to increase pressure on Myanmar's ruling junta. On Tuesday, the U.S. Treasury Department announced that it will prohibit financial services such as loans and investment by Americans to the Myanmar oil and gas enterprise, but would not block the MOGE from America's banking system completely. It has also added sanctions on three entities and five people said to be linked to Myanmar's military. In Southern California tonight, a desperate race to contain a wildfire exploding out of control. 4,000 Riverside County residents ordered to flee their homes as crews battle the Highland Fire. It is totally blowing. The wind is blowing horrendously. Officials say it doubled in size overnight, jumping across a major highway and burning more than 2,200 acres northeast of San Diego.